Hello and welcome to VOA's Red Carpet. I'm your host, Sunday Shomari. In this episode of Red Carpet, we have Ghanaian artist Mo Awudu's mural in honor of soccer star Mohamed Kudus and NBA star Bruno Fernando speaks to VOA about the Basketball Africa League, BAL, and his career. Let's get on with the show. Let's start the show with some highlights of the latest entertainment news around the world. In music news, Nigerian Afrobeat star Mr. Easy has announced that he has formed a new music group called Chop Life Sound System with Kenyan born DJ DJ Edu. According to the report, Mr. Easy says he will also be launching an initiative called Chop Life Ministries, which will bring an electronic dance music festival to Africa. In other news, Ugandan dance group The Ghetto Kids performed on the widely popular Britain's Got Talent. In 2014, this dance group went viral on YouTube and other social media platforms after posting a video dancing to Grammy-nominated Ugandan singer Eddie Kenzo's song, Sita Losi. The group's appearance on Britain's Got Talent adds to their impressive list of appearances which include featuring in the music video for French Montana's smash hit Unforgettable and performing at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Ghanaian soccer star and Ajax Amsterdam player Mohamed Kudus has been called a next generation footballer for his abilities on the field. The 22-year-old midfielder's two goals for the Black Stars during the most recent World Cup in Qatar solidified his reputation as a hometown favorite. Several people now appreciate Kudus, including well-known neighborhood artist Mo Awudu, who created a mural in his honor. Red Carpet went to see the painting in the Nima district of Accra and chatted with Awudu about his source of inspiration. Yeah, what inspired me to, uh, to do this mural is uh, the community, the people, the change, the narrative, you know. A lot of people write bad news about Nima, like a negative vibe about Nima. So um, whenever we have somebody who is doing good, we need to celebrate the person. So I wanted to use uh, Mohamed Kudu's story to inspire the young girls coming out from this community to know that no matter where you come from, you can still impact the world. He came from this community, he started playing here. Kudus was born in Nima, a heavily populated neighborhood of Greater Accra, renowned for its thriving markets and rich culture that is despite its reputation for being impoverished. Kudus is a brother, he's a, he's a son of this community. He's not just representing Nima, but he's representing all the Zongu communities around Ghana. Now everywhere in the world, people are celebrating him. So I feel like I have to uh, paint him because he's from this community. Once he's from this community, uh, it gets connected to the people, and I'm from this community too. Mohamed Awudu is a well-renowned artist in Ghana whose work includes paintings and murals. He became world famous for artwork that depicted one of Ghana's deadliest natural disasters in 2015. I've done like more than 100 paintings in Accra. Yeah, more than, more than 20 years I've been painting here in Accra. I painted a lot of murals here in Accra, and, uh, but this one is like uh, so special and dear to my heart because it gets connected to the people in my, in my community. Awudu's work has been praised for its authenticity, vibrancy, and use of colors to connect with the subject matter. My career started uh, way back when I was 11 years old in this same community that Awudu's come from. Nima started here and uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't easy. Uh, the, the story of Nima has like, affected us a lot. Sometimes when you are when you are going to work somewhere, people can pay you first before you do the work. You need to finish the work first before they pay you. So, but that gave us like an energy uh, to to work more and to uh, prove people wrong. So I started it here. I um, from here I moved out from Nima, 
Jamestown and to other places. So from Jamestown, I moved to, um, I started going outside Ghana to paint. Apart from Ghana, I go to uh, like African countries. From African countries, I just, I'm just a global artist now. Now to more music news, Ghanaian recording artist Denning Hotar, popularly known as Adam, is an accomplished singer, songwriter, and rapper who has paved the way for many musicians in his country. I had a chance to speak with him about his work and continued rise of African music. Let's take a look. Tell me something. What is your project? What has brought you again this time around? Oh, well, I've been on a, a journey to just propagate uh, music made in Africa. Uh, I'm from Ghana and uh, the journey never ends, uh, the storytelling never ends. And so in a quest to become a more global artist, to, to reach a bigger audience, expose them to the diverse, uh, amazing uh, music and sights and sounds that we have as uh, African artists. Um, I want other cultures to embrace us. And, and, and I believe that uh, Africa is the new frontier uh, musically and creatively and so I'm here um, connecting the dots, uh, building bridges, uh, joining forces and my team on the ground. Um, it's, we are pushing the music, pushing the culture, pushing the lifestyle, the food, um, the mindset and, and, and it's beautiful that uh, we are here to propagate that and, and it's been good so far. Great. Minus the weather. Okay. <laughs> But it's getting better, I promise. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. It and is. And you've been in so many different places, performing also in D.C. Yeah. Maybe some of the places you have get a chance to connect with your fans and do some stuff in here in D.C. Yeah, so I, I came immediately and then my, my team jetted me off to um, L.A. I was in L.A. to be a part of the screening of the, the movie The Godfather of Harlem and, and got to meet Swiss Beats and the producer of Narcos, Paul Exton. We had some uh, amazing conversations about cross-cultural collaborations. And then I came back to perform at, in Kama, in DC, uh, for the 66th celebration of the Ghana's Independence Day. And a couple of days ago, I was at Privilege uh, to also do another day party. And so it's, it's, it's been awesome. Uh, we also went to Harlem, uh, which I grew up on. Mm -hmm. through music from, from Maze and, and just people uh, mentioning and, and Jim Jones and Dipset and Cameron and everybody and so where with Jim Jones uh, to also connect dots and build bridges and create some, some more music. And you had a chance to do something with a superstar in Africa with this uh, song Toto, if I'm not mistaken, with yes, the video. Yes, yes, Tell me yes. about it because we haven't seen the video yet. Yes, yeah, so um, Toto is a big song on the continent. Anybody can check it out. It's T-O-T-O. -T -O. And uh, after the original came out, I recorded the, the remix with Davido. And I want to be emphatic about it, that I appreciate the love that uh, David brought to the, mu uh, to the song. And right after recording the music, mm -hmm. just when we were preparing to shoot the video, uh, COVID knocked on our doors globally. And so for two years, uh, the world was on a lockdown. Literally, I couldn't connect with my brother, Davido, uh, to be able to shoot the video. And then right after the back of COVID, he also had the, the incident where he lost his child yeah. and had to go into hibernation. And so uh, we couldn't release an official video for the remix of Toto. But the audio is out and hopefully... I get to catch David in the studio for another record and we shoot the video to that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but congrats to David on your new uh, album, Timeless, an amazing piece. So you guys go and check out David's new album too. Thank you so much, Edom. Thank you. For Thank you coming for in me. here. And we say go. Go get him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here. And Bruno Fernando the first Angolan player in the National Basketball Association, has recently returned to the Atlanta Hawks 
and we join the Angolan team for the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. He came to VOA's studio while he was in Washington, D.C. and talked to our colleague, Sonny Young. Let's check it out. We're here catching up with Atlanta Hawks big man, Bruno Fernando. The first Angolan player in the National Basketball Association. Then you can go to the flag. That's, 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 that's what's up. What's up? Welcome, Bruno, to our Voice of America studios. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me here, man. I'm glad to be here. Great to have you here, Bruno. Bruno, uh, the NBA is one of the big financial backers of the new Basketball Africa League, uh, the BAL. Uh, Petro de Luanda from Angola. Yeah. They reached the final uh, of the BAL last year uh, in Rwanda. Do you think Petro can uh, lift the BAL trophy this time around? I believe so. You know, I believe so. You know, I think they, you know, they, they, got, they got a great coach. Um, they got the potential. They got a lot of great players. You know, they got some of the greatest players in our history. They are representing their team right now. And, uh, you know, I think that, you know, they, they got what it takes. And, you know, obviously they want to win the BEL. And obviously I think people got to put in the kind of X factor right there. The, the player they signed from the Ivory Coast, Solo Diakite or Diabate, that's his name. He's been in the finals twice and he won. So okay. I think the fact that Petro signed him, he might be like that car that makes them win now. You know, that's going to make three in a row for him. So, you know, hopefully they win. And I'm cheering for them. And, uh, you know, hopefully they, they, they get it done this time. What is your status right now with Angola's national men's team? It's great. It's great. I went uh, last last summer. I went and played in the Ivory Coast for the um, for the window they had in Ivory Coast for the qualifiers, the World Qualifiers. Um, and obviously, I would love to go this past window they just had back home in February, but I couldn't go because you know obviously we we working here right now. But, uh, you know, we qualify for the World Cup, you know, which I'm very excited about. You know, I'm looking forward to, you know, joining the team in the summer um, and kind of just ramp up the work and, and go to the World Cup and have a great performance. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in great place with them. Um, we are trying to kind of take us back to the place where we belong. You know how it is, you know, before the history we have in basketball uh, with Angola and the history that all those legends came before, that came before us have already done. They kind of already gave us a blueprint. So now we got to kind of find a way to just follow along and continue to take Angolan basketball to the highest boards. So, you know, I'm somebody who is kind of in charge of it right now. And, uh, you know, as the image of the country, I'm, you know, definitely um, honored um, and excited to join the national team again. Bruno, uh, you returned to the Hawks via trade. Right. What are your feelings about being back with Atlanta? Man, I feel great, man. It just, you know, uh, that's one thing about me. I don't think a lot of places, you know, just us as human beings, you know, uh, it's certain places to feel like home, you know. And for me to be able to go somewhere else and experience different things and just experience different people and be around and just trying to connect with people in different cities and, and organizations, uh, which are opportunities that I'm extremely grateful for. But to be able to come back to Atlanta, I just felt like, okay, I'm home, you know. <laughs> Uh, the reception was amazing, you know what I'm saying? Just to be able to see everybody and, and smile again and just laugh and have a great time as I've always had, man. I'm, I'm, I'm home, you know, I can't complain about anything. Bruno Fernando of the Atlanta Hawks, thank yes, you for uh, talking with us. Of course, thank you for having me here. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for watching VOA's The Red Carpet. I'm your host, Sunday Shumari. For more on entertainment news, check us out on voaafrica.com or on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye, everyone.